the limitless, unsurpassed, most profound Dharma should be manifested through practice with our small, limited, impermanent body and mind. In the case of Dogen's uh, Zazen practice, uh, is also a practice of middle way. We practice uh, our sitting, is called just sitting, that means we do nothing but sitting. There are many different meditation techniques in various Buddhist traditions. Dogen's method is uh, one of them, but it's kind of uh, unique. There's, his method is no method, <laughs> no techniques. We just sit, keep our body upright, and keep our eyes open, not closed, and breathe through our nose deeply as if the air goes down to our abdomen. That's all. That means our body function naturally. We don't stop you know, breathing and we don't pay attention to anything, any particular object, but keep our eyes just uh, naturally open. Dogen Zen called this sitting, just sitting, and also dropping of body and mind. And dropping of body and mind means dropping of uh, five aggregates. In complete darkness, there is no discrimination. Our body and mind work together as one. The Heart Sutra says, there are no eyes, no ears, no nose, no tongue, no anything. Because they are not independent, they work together as one. And there is no distinction between eye or nose or tongue. The whole body becomes an eye in the darkness. The whole body becomes a tongue when we eat. We don't eat and taste with our mouths and tongues alone. We see the food with our eyes, we smell it with our nose, we touch it with our hands, the whole body functions together as one in all our actions. So there are no eyes or ears independent of other organs. All work together. This is the reality of life. Light and darkness in Indian Buddhism and Chinese Zen are opposite. In Indian Buddhism, darkness is ignorance. Ignorance means is without, without light. Light means wisdom. But in Chinese Zen, true reality beyond thinking is darkness. And brightness or light is our discrimination because we, when we see things, we can see the difference and we make distinction between this and that. Brightness or light means the way we think and understand and we create a kind of a picture of the world and system of value. That is how we live in a conventional way. Darkness is beyond the thinking or beyond discrimination. That is in Chinese Zen called nothingness or emptiness. That is beyond our thought can reach. That is darkness. In our Zazen, you know, our thoughts are coming and going. Thinking our light is there, but we let go open our hand, we don't grasp. Uh, this is darkness. So within our Zazen, light and darkness are together. They don't negate each other. They are interpenetrating. Even though I'm thinking, but I'm living life before thinking. Even though we are living beyond thinking, still we are thinking. So important point how these two sides can work together in the most healthy way.